The war between Israel and Hamas has sparked a lot of rallies in our area. Tonight, dueling demonstrations are being held in Washington Square Park. CBS 2's Alicia Reed is there live with more on what demonstrators had to say. Alicia. Dick and Dana, there are two separate rallies happening behind me right now. They started on different sides of the park, and now they are face to face. I'm going to get out of the way so you can see exactly what's happening behind me. People are waving the Palestinian flag and directly in front of them, there are others waving the Israeli flag. The rally for people supporting Palestinian people in Gaza started with a large crowd today. They've been very vocal about freeing the Palestinian people and the years of persecution their people have faced. They're also calling attention to what they're calling genocide happening in Gaza right now. The pro-Israel rally was organized by NYU students. We spoke to one young man who was studying in Israel when the attack by Hamas terrorists occurred. He finally made his way home a few days ago. Now the NYPD Intel Division is monitoring social media postings for any potential threats. So far this has been peaceful. Both sides rallying while respecting each other's space. But one thing they have in common praying for their people and an end to the atrocities happening around them. Hamas opened the war against Israel. There is, I don't think there is any country in the world that would accept um, such atrocities against their civilians. We're not supporting violence. We're here to talk about the history of the Palestinian people, that they've been suffering for 75 years, and that the incidents are not happening within a vacuum. A large police presence out here. A police spokesman did tell me that they have stepped up patrols both inside the park and in the surrounding neighborhood. Live at Washington Square Park, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Alicia.